This is a heron rookery that I've been photographing lately. It's in northern Illinois, and I've been going there week after week to photograph the youngsters in the nest and the great blue heron adults in their behavior, feeding and building, nest building. Herons, great blue herons, nest in rookeries and colonies, which are many nests together. You see this great blue heron coming in to his young. At this point, his young are about half the size of the great blue heron adult. And they grow up to be the same size and they're still in the nest, they're crowded in. But the male comes in to the female, brings her a stick in the very beginning. And then they work together to continually nest build and to feed their young. I love how they work together. Here comes the male with a, with a stick from down below. The rookery is in a marshy area, so he flies down into the water, gets a stick, and also gets food for the young. It's a lot of cooperative effort, and I find that when I'm out there, I just completely lose track of time. I become one with the herons, and so involved in what it is that they're doing, and so um, into them, and, and watching them, and observing, and recognizing too what it is that we can learn from them. I take this away with me, you know, two or three, four, five, six hours of this, and uh, you can't help but learn. Just the focus that these birds have, as any animal, and what it is that they're meant to do, and what it is that that's all that they do. Nothing distracts them from their task. And yet they're so cooperative together. I love this image. This is one of my favorite with a female reaching up to take the stick from the male. It's, um, in human terms, I'd say romantic. Here's the cooperation of the nest building together. And I just found this to be extremely breathtaking. In this image, as the male dives off the nest to go get more sticks and more food to feed his babies and to keep nest building. They're just so elegant and graceful in their ways of doing life. Here the babies are grown. This was the last time I was there. And they're quite demanding. This time of their life requires less feeding though. And you can see how they grab food by tapping on or grabbing the beak of the parent. And that prompts the parent to regurgitate food for the young. Here's a juvenile that's flown. He's fledged. But they're elegant and beautiful. And the more time I spend in nature, the more I learn about nature, but so much too about myself and about our own human nature. Until next time.